It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills, and it comes your way next. From the home of the Bills since 1973, we are at Highmark Stadium, just south of downtown Buffalo. Coming up, it's a rematch from last year's AFC wildcard round, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. They're guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, they've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, for the visiting Dolphins, we know about the weapons on offense on the perimeter. But you think this is a team, Charles, that needs to step it up defensively to go to the next level? I do. And they have the pieces in place. They have excellent players. Perhaps the new system that's been brought in will give them that edge that they need in the AFC East. And we are underway in Buffalo. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on the national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Throwing to start here is Tua. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let it just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Here's Tongue of Ilowa to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Here's Hardy set to return. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. 
Allen looks to throw on second down. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Throwing is Allen on third. There, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive, and the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Bills bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Here's Tua. Hill diving, and he's got it full extension. What a catch. Tua to Tyreek for the Miami first. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. Two and now on first down. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here's second down and eight. Now Tua. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. And going deep for Hill. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Here's Allen on first and 10. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 
They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. He finds some open field here. And the follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. Make that now two runs in a row that have netted them great results. And it doesn't matter what kind of blocking scheme they're using, gap scheme, power scheme, zone running. They are finding people in those gaps and moving them and creating nice space for their runners. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, it turned into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second down, Cook. And he's blocked down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Play action. Now it's Allen. And yeah, he's got his tight end knocks for Bill's touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. Still going. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 75 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays, give us a break, back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills ready to take over. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well, where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the yeah, ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time they were up to the challenge. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. A quick throw taken in by Diggs. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing on first down is Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 36. Allen now looks to throw, eluding the pressure right. play but it ends up being a good play the scramble goes for 20. that's the first time he's called his own number but he's got to be overjoyed with the results he wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain to me he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket operating from the red zone now allen throwing quickly there but it's incomplete that pass just a little bit off it looked like maybe he tried to force it in there game speed always different no matter what you do in practice you can't simulate it right so your decision making everything has to be a little bit quicker sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust here's Hallett finding Knox there complete He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Now Allen. Escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Oh, Brandon, that's a game remove right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Harris. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Cook. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, 
and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Allen now on third and goal. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Bills have taken the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Take it at about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. I mean, last time, how you think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. One play, one pass, touchdown. I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan, but I don't think they'd mind possessions like that at all. They just saved those calls for this possession instead. Two and now on first down. Open man downfield is Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. And this is how you answer a touchdown the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Running the counter with Mostert. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 43, here's second and six. On play action, here's Tua. And a penalty flag comes in as Howard winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. Here's second and seven as they've got it as we resume action. On second down to it. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people with bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And that went off the mark. A little late with a throw. Quarterback in 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Sanders' kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. A 
after the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're way, never happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On first down, Allen. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Now a second and ten. Allen going to throw. There's Stephon Diggs with a catch on the slant. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Allen to Diggs there for Buffalo first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. But if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Allen now on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in position to dictate to the offense. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's got another first down as he's blocked down at the Dolphins' 15-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis, but it's going to be second down. Allen off the play fake. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills are able to add on to that lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Yeah. 
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 26. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. I if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. From the gun, it's Tua. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. Flush to his right. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Vailoa. It's a first down. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm, but he was more than happy to dissect it with his legs for that first down pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Going to the air, Tonga Vailoa. Incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So line of scrimmage still a 39 on second and 10. Two are going to throw. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well. They'll get a few stops. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Second down, here's Mostert again. That's a strong running. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes a little tread left on the tires. Two is throws taken in by Waddle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Here's Tua. throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now Tua. And this is caught. 
for the moment it's a touchdown but multiple flags down so let's sort this out illegal touching offense So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. They've got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. This is a 27-yard attempt here. Sanders' kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. to the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. James Cook running back out now. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen escaping the pressure right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's gonna be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 11 yards for number 11. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. From the 43, it's second and three. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. There he goes, right side. Down to the 10. James Cook, and the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Well, it has been the passing game that's really been responsible for much of the scoring so far, but let's not forget about this running attack. They're pretty good, too, as evidence right there. And I think, Brandon, the fact that they've thrown the ball so well contributed to that touchdown because that was a defense that was really keyed up to cover those receivers. All they wanted to do was blanket them. They didn't have enough men in the box to stop the run, and you saw the end result. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now.
after the touchdown. Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. And his throw is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Back to the air on second down, Tug of Iloa. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Tua sets up to pass it. And almost, but not quite, needed 10. He got nine, fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Here's Jake Bailey now. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be first to 10 as they take over. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. To the air, Allen. He's got his target, that's complete. And he is gonna have a Bills first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down, and that's what he just did. A gain of three, second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the 46, here's second down and seven. Now Allen. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And Knox is gonna have the Bills first down as he's gonna get this down to the 45-yard line. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Here's Allen on first and 10. 
for him and it's another first down i'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now things are in sync aren't they teams winning got a nice little margin on the scoreboard completing some passes and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end creeping up on a minute to play in this first half Operating from the red zone now. Allen, the left side caught by Diggs. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a second and six. Now Allen again. And he's gonna be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A good decision in the end to pull that run, get some nine yards in a first. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. From the gun, it's Allen. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Allen going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try and run it at least once in there, but once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from then on out. The kick by Mass is good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park where the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. The Bills got a terrific first half from the man on the cover, quarterback Josh Allen. He got off to a hot start with two first quarter touchdown passes, threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. All right, coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three. 
Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it is really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting, you and I were talking with the coach and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They can't ask for much more than this. They've got it first and goal from the five. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Here's Mostert. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. One more time with Mostert. A nice one. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Raheem Mostert. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. After the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And here come the Bills. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. complete to Sherfield. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Let's 
throwing now is Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. That's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. To throw, it's Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. They run it again with Cook. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here is third down and four. So the shotgun snap to Allen. It's going to be incomplete. He was waving as hard as one to football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what would you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage. But <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, yes. real, th he wasn't real thrilled with it. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Pass is caught for a first, but he's looking for more. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. 
So they pull a little rabbit out of their hat nearly for six. Almost got the fake into the end zone. Either way, they're set up really nicely. So we all fell for the illusion, didn't we? Did they <laughs> saw someone in half on well, stage well on played. that one? I mean, well that played. was something right there. We fell for the fake in a big way, as did the defense. And look what it turned into, a monster play. And now they're set up inside the five-yard line. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outta boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Cook will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're gonna try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. From the 25, here's a second and seven. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert, he scored on the ground through the air and the Dolphins get a bit closer well forget about the weapons out wide he knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game Charles and he utilized him perfectly on that play and the offense coordinator showed me something on that play Brandon because so often during a game our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets and you wonder if they're absorbing anything he had something specific in mind and he went to it and it worked well Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. 
James Cook in the Buffalo offense returning to work now. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some <laughs> massive men. They start the drive with Cook. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Second and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Here's third and three. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will be on to their lead. Maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And Miami's offense set and ready to go. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. They faked the handoff. Now Tua. Gets this one to Hill, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Going to the air, Tugabailoa. Oh, and he gets it to Barrios. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. On first and 10, it's Moster. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Tua. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Tua. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. On the return, Hardy. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. James Cook running back out now. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Off the play fake, Allen. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Miami set to take over, and they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and 10 here. the turnover it's Tua that's going to be caught by Waddle it'll go down as a gain of six and that'll make it second down here's a handoff to Mostert running left they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Tua looking to throw on third and two. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two. Just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That was Terrell Bernard navigating his way to the backfield and dropping him for a loss. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. 
Tug of Iloa to throw on second down here. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as well. well. Those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game. That time, unable to find a completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. So fourth down, two and depart. Set on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. The kick by Sanders is good. And that will finish off this third quarter of play. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. For the fourth quarter, we'll begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Sanders now to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Barrios. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Tua. Open man is Waddle complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down.
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Tua sets up to pass it. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill. Complete. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the podcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Things sure were looking good for him at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to mash the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. Throw right side, taken in here to start this drive. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Allen now on first down. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll be stopped in his tracks right at the 33. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. That's quickly out wide to Davis. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Here's Allen. That pass is caught by Hardy. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This time it's third and three. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. The kick by Bass is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question. 
should be good, right? Look at the smiles on that side of the field. They're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They complete it to Hill, and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Two are going to throw. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. Here's Tug of Ilo to throw. Another catch there for Waddle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Play action, now it's Tua. That escapes the sack. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Here's second and 10. Tua setting up shop to throw again. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but wasn't enough to get him the completion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Dorian Williams who got there for the sack. Even keeping the back in for extra protection on third down, they still could prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. in the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Off play action. Allen. And a quick throw here. That's complete. 
And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up second down. On play action, Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw, and a good one. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. And here comes Berrios. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. On the ground, it's most to start the drive. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. From the gun, it's Tua. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Tua on the bootleg here. And will find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Here's second and three. A run with Mostert up the middle. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. 47 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive? take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Here comes second down at five. Tua. 
Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Throwing to a... Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are on the field? Now Tua. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Alec Ingold taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Allen and the Bills now, down by one. Less than 90 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Now Allen. And that's complete to Davis. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. Here's second down and three. Throwing Allen. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Here's Allen. He stiff arms him. Allen hit. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 38. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game.
So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Two yards still to go, third down now. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring, and it still comes down to a one possession game at the end. That's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.